Hello YouTube, this is uh, Tibbs from Tibbs Farm, and I got some really disturbing news. Um, Felix is gone, and came down, checked the net, make sure everything was good, electric was still on. Uh, today is moving day, and when I saw absolutely no signs of uh, how he could get out, I continued pressing on, uh, cleared out the new pathway, went to move the fence, and that's whenever I spotted something that was not right. Whenever I set up uh, these pens, whenever I connect one end to another, um, you know, one of these ends. The string right here, I uh, connect to the other string, or the other poles, in a very particular way. Uh, whenever I came to disconnect it, it was not set up how I set my poles up. I'm not going to explain how I set them up, because there is the possibility that someone local here might possibly be watching my channel and that would just go and give them the opportunity to steal another goat and set up the net the way that I do it. Um, we do have livestock guardian dog, however, Nibbler has notoriously attacked the guard dog and on the other side of things, Knox, the guard dog, doesn't like staying in an electric fence. So I'm at a point that I can't use the goats to clear out any more land. I'm gonna have to bring them up close to the house uh, in an area that Knox can watch over them. And I, I, I'm gonna either have to try to break Nibbler of attacking the dog and break the dog of breaking out of the fence or alternatively may need to look at getting another guard dog that can be in with the goats and won't get out of their net. Because Knox does do a good job at uh, scaring predators away from the birds that we got. And the birds are too far away from the goats. So, the heartbreak infuriated and at a complete loss because, like I said, I've been using these goats to clear out this brush and now that's gotta stop. I, I, I can't get any more land cleared because I can't, I can't guarantee the safety of my goats. Um, trying to figure out the thought process on why Felix and not any of the other ones. And my only thought is, Felix is the only one that didn't have horns. There is a possibility that somebody thought that meant that he was a girl goat. And at the same time, look at Kimber, my actual girl goat, and so she's got horns and is like, nope, that's a boy goat. I don't want a boy goat. I don't know. There's also the possibility that in my area, a lot of people don't like horned goats. Um, they disbud them. I personally don't think that disbudding is a humane practice. I think if you want goats without horns, you should breed for pulled goats. Uh, pulled, uh, P-O-L-L-E-D, you know, where they grow without horns, naturally, genetically. 
Uh, I like horns on goats. That's why my two have horns. And Mrs. Tibbs, um, she specifically got Felix from the breeder already disbutted. She doesn't want to deal with horns. Like I said, I don't necessarily think that it's an ethical practice just because of the way it's done. Some people say, eh, it's all right. Me, that's my thought on it. I don't shame anyone that does it. It's, it's just, it's not something that I would do. I don't look down on people that do it. Um, yes, I would prefer that they try breeding that route but ultimately that's their animals that is in their care and if that's what they think is best for their safety who am I to tell them otherwise it's not like they're out there shooting them with a BB gun that would be absolutely wrong and I would have to say something about that I've rambled on far too long. And I think uh, I realized today, especially whenever I asked one of the uh, friends from around here to keep her eye out, see if somebody's trying to sell him. I don't have any pictures and I didn't have any good footage of any of the goats. So... I think I'm gonna get some close-ups of Kimber and Nibbler, just in case something else happens. So, let's swap over to them. Right now, Nibbler is out, just nibbling along on things. Um, as you can see, there's no net around us. Uh, I, I do let them out, I open up their pens, they stay close by me. Whenever I uh, am setting up for a new pen, it also gives them the opportunity to come through and eat some delicious greens that they can't get to. And, and you know, the, the greens that you can't get to are more delicious than the ones that you, that you can. So, these little, little dirty meats go and get brushed down, maybe washed. His horns are looking real pretty, I think. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But, yep, there's the old nibbler nose. Let's move on to getting some footage of Kimber. Me, me. Me. Oh, hello, Kimber. See? Her little horns. Yeah, I had somebody go and say, that's a boy goat. <laughs> no. It, she's not a boy goat. As you can see, she doesn't have the boy goat parts. So, she's all girl back there. Ooh. And she's got some little spots. Uh, I believe they have a name. I don't know what they're called. Moon spots? Maybe? I don't know. No, I think moon spots are white spots. I don't know. She's got little spots. Gives her a little bit of character. A little one down here. Another one right there. Then... Little white spots up in here. I think those might possibly be called moon spots, or maybe they're not because they're on her legs. And here's the side of Nibbler. He's got, I don't, I don't know, kind of looks like a, what is that, butternut squash, possibly, <laughs> right there. there's go a gourd. 
That's what it looks like. One of them gourds that people go and make little tiny birdhouses out of. But that's that's the two goats that we have right now. Uh, hopefully, um, we're able to go and find Felix. Uh, hopefully, we can go and get him back without having to get law enforcement involved. Uh, definitely need to get back to getting more footage of the goats in case something like this happens. But who would have foresaw something like this? And I don't know. Well, it's going to be difficult for me. But I still get wish everyone out there to have a great day.